On May the 29th, UTBM tried to decide on the future of the planet. Today we're having a uh, role play game. So the students in my course, EVO2, which is uh, Energy, Environment and Sustainable Development, uh, simulating a uh, negotiation about climate change. Groups of students represented the different delegations that participate at climate summits. We are a developing country uh, and uh, we are sitting on the floor to um, to simulate the very low level of living. For example, USA offers us uh, some cookies, some water, some uh, juice, and we are here on the on the floor without chairs, without table, without anything. We we are just the poorest people in the world. That reflects the fact that you know powerful countries like America or European countries, other developed nations, they've got real resources to throw at their team. So for example, their team will stay in a nice hotel, will be comfortable, will get a chauffeur-driven taxi, a car to the, uh, the meeting place. The simulation was fine-tuned down to the smallest detail, with pretend journalists putting pressure on the delegates by live-tweeting on the event. I know uh, we've come out of the classroom, there's a lot of noise around us, but that's absolutely normal. OK, it's what I wanted. But the real difficulty was in the negotiations finding solutions, compromising while defending one's interests at the same time, all in English. Obviously it's a difficulty because uh, it's difficult to have the vocabulary sometimes, um, but it's good for us because it's, uh, I think it's the, the real uh, negotiation is, is in English. At the first five minutes maybe we'll, we'll think a lot of what we are saying, how we say it, but after five minutes we, we, are more, we focus more on what we want to say, but not how we say it. The EVO2 course complements technical modules and raises future engineers' awareness about the environment and sustainable development. I think and I would hope engineers today, when they design products, when they find solutions, I hope in the back of their mind the possible impacts of some design choices or component choices or different aspects of the design, I would hope that the, the impacts those choices would have on the environment would come uh, be in their mind.